but hey, hey! Oh, you gotta love a monkey, ain't you? You gotta love a monkey. Hello, YouTube, all you crazy people out there in YouTube land beyond you, right there, but hey! Hey! Well, we're out for a bimble, so we thought we'd bring you along, have a chat, have a yab. See what's been going on in the world of oh, that's a big old in the world of Buddy, Buddy myself. So, in the last video, I did mention that uh, I've obviously started a new job and that's put me in an amazing place, amazing headspace, and I'm loving what I'm doing. But, and there's a big but for this little man here, it means that uh, every now and again. I am uh, I'm away for the foreseeable, or like it was this weekend just gone. I was away for four days at the Mally Mile, which was an amazing weekend. I've got to say, if you've never been to the Mally Mile, you need to go. It just seems to be a free-for-all for all those that love petrol motorcycles, electric motorcycles, anything to do with motorcycles. And uh, I was there at a work capacity, which meant that uh, his nibs here, he couldn't come with me and there's been a couple of other weekends I've been away he just sulks he does bless him he sulks and tonight it's just about me and him me and you and the kid yes me and you get out for a bit of a bimble a bit of a ride blow the cobwebs out put a smile back on his little face make him happy and uh, so that's what we're doing so we thought we'd bring you along have a chat tell you what it's all about what we've been doing what we're up to so tonight we're just hitting a few of the local lanes because it's a lovely evening. Had a uh, package come from Ultimate Add-ons this week, my new phone case and bar gripper holder and uh, I've been using it as I use the monkey to commute to work. Couldn't actually fit it on, I've got to come up with a new way because when this tank bag's on I can't get me uh, my phone clip on. So I will come up with something, don't you worry. So yeah, apologies for uh, this weekend just gone, not to releasing a video. So say this new job really has me, uh, the way I describe it is, I'm like a swan. So on the surface, oh, I'm calm as anything, but under the water I'm paddling for my life. Paddling for my life, I say. I'm enjoying all the new challenges that this job brings. So for the people that know me, the people who have been on this channel a while, any new ones, welcome. Thank you very much for joining us. Just crazy old man and his little dog. So, for quite a few years, I was a development test rider, predominantly for Triumph, but uh, I have uh, partaken for a few other companies. Work died off drastically over the last 18 months, and I was forced to do a job I absolutely bloody hated. Oh! just to put food on the table and pay the bills but it mentally destroyed me nearly put me in such a dark place and I was such a miserable grumpy bugger it was unbelievable and then this opportunity sort of landed in my lap oh it's been about a month ago now I think I'm, I'm coming into my fourth week of doing this job and I've got to say it's amazing what a change in your life can sometimes do and for me this really has uh, changed my life for the better. So, I am officially retired from development and test riding on a full-time basis. Never say never, you never know. Might go back and do a bit here, there, now and again. But my new role in life is actually an event account manager. Sounds posh, don't it? Sounds bloody posh! And uh, at the weekend, at the Manly Mile, uh, that was one of those accounts and that just happened to be Norton Motorcycles. I've got to say what a bloody amazing weekend it was. So I was in charge this week of um, basically organising test rides for Norton from the Manny Mile and uh, loved every minute. Yeah it was hard work but you know what it was bloody amazing. So on the Sunday I needed a, an extra tail rider um, because the, the guy that I had doing it for me Friday, Saturday, unfortunately, couldn't do the Sunday, so I drafted in the mighty sidekick. <laughs> I'll go to the over to his channel, go and have a look. He's a lovely guy, bloody good mechanic, and a bloody good rider. And uh, gave him the opportunity to come along and do a day's work for me. And I gotta say, it was the better day of the three. 
when it came to the weather. Oh, because the Saturday, the Saturday was bloody shocking. But everybody went out, everybody come back in one piece, everybody had a smile on their face. And uh, yeah, so that's another one ticked off the list for this week. So tonight, I thought, you know what, he sulks, he's like, come home, he ain't been very happy, he's like, you left me, you left me, didn't I, no kid. So I says to him, it's alright, I will take you out, it's a lovely evening, we'll go out, have a bit of a bimble, just the two of us, and uh, we'll stop somewhere and sit on a bench and ponder life and have a bit of a buddy cuddle. Take every day as it comes, won't we buddy? Every day as it comes, kid! <laughs> I'm telling ya! So yeah, big apology to uh, people I follow and I'm normally uh, watching all of your content. I will catch up! <laughs> I promise! I just, I've been so flat out, like I say, with this new job that uh, I've only managed to catch or watch a very small amount of uh, my YouTube favourites but I will get there and I will get back to it as soon as I find my feet or as soon as my feet stop paddling like mad here we are, we'll have a look down here I can't remember going down this road before so why not, oh no hang on, did we? I've got a feeling this might be a dead end lap this one I'm not sure I've got a feeling this is where we did the first monkey video maybe Wow, look at this Oh, this is what it's all about, look! This is what it's all about, bud! I've got a feeling I can't go any further down this road. Unless it's green lighting. We do a bit of green lighting, bud. The thing about the monkey is, you feel like you go very fast! <laughs> you do, very fast down these roads. <laughs> ah, yeah, there you go. It's a dead end, kid. It's a bloody dead end, but what a lovely dead end to get to, I've got to say. Oh well, we'll turn around and go back. Not a problem. I'll tell you what, I wouldn't mind living at the end of this road. Oh, it'd be amazing, wouldn't it? The sun's getting low now, kid. That sun's getting low now. Oh, there we go, back out the open air, love. So, wearing the, uh, still wearing the rucksack. I've got to say, it's bloody comfortable. And, uh, <laughs> I said it a lot in the last video, it's very functional as well. And, uh, use it for work every day. Fits everything in I need it to fit in. And if we ever needed to, it would save my bloody life. You stay there, mate, don't you dare turn in front of me. Oh, I don't want to test this rucksack. Not quite now, thank you very much. Hey, Budsy, we don't want to test it, do we, kid? So I'm trying to save up at the moment for a Insta360. Oh, I seem to be taking two steps forward, three steps back. But that is my aim, that's the next piece of equipment I'd ideally love to add to this channel. Purely because I think I'll get a really good view of Buddy. Whereas, as you can see, there's no front-facing camera at the moment. I'm just struggling with where to put it on this one. I had to put a bracket on here and it was up here and uh, that wasn't really working. And just the wind of them were just bending it down. And yeah, so that, that went out the window. Um, and then I put it on the inside and it was too close to him. I didn't like him when he was banging his nose on it. And I've liked the idea of a 360 camera for a while. Uh, just can't afford one. This is simple as that. Oh, yes, I'm here, mate. Number 20. Come in, number 20. You're most welcome. Just didn't want to cut across the cross your bow, love. Didn't want to cut across your bow. Oh, they're bloody everywhere. They're bloody everywhere, buds. Don't you worry, kid. We're never doing that. Never doing it. Oh no. I think Budsy will be happy now. He'll be, be a bit more chilled, a bit more relaxed. Do you remember Budsy? Is that all right now, kid? Are you a bit more chilled? A bit more relaxed? Yes. I bloody hope so. So the subscriber count is slowly, it's slowly ticking up. It's yeah, no, it's, it's never going to reach the the thousands but I truly do appreciate everybody that subscribed to this channel new and old I just I love the community feel I love chatting to you lot it's uh, it's just well it's quite heartwarming really it makes it all worthwhile 
I think uh, the ABR really opened my eyes uh, to the amount of people. Thanks, mate. It's all right. It doesn't matter. You wanted to squash us. Don't matter, did it, bud? I tell you, they walk among us. They walk among us. So yeah, I say the ABR really opened my eyes in the sense of the amount of people that came up to us and just said hello. <laughs> the first one, first guy was at McDonald's, still makes me be smile now as I'm walking back and he, we're walking up and he says, yeah buddy! And I sort of give him a puzzled look and he says, I said his name is Buddy? And he went, yeah I know he is, I've been following him for about two years. And I'm like, wow, blew my mind. And uh, yeah, he's a lovely guy, I bumped into him a few times at uh, the ABR after that. And it was the same with a lot of people that sort of came up and you know, would say to us, hello, I've been following you and your story and your journey. And it was, it really was heartwarming. And I think it's moments like those that, that made me realise that for me it's not about getting hundreds of thousands of subscribers. I'm just happy to have the 790 subscribers I've got that are lovely people. No bad comments, no haters, no trolls, just really nice people. And I thank you all from the bottom of my heart, I really do. Because you really have made this whole whole journey very pleasurable. And it bad. So we'll keep chipping away at it, because uh, yeah, I would like to hit the thousand subscribers. And I think uh, when I do hit the thousand, I will definitely look at doing merchandise. This all started because we did it to, to raise money for good causes. That's how it started in the first place. So. I think I am going to look at doing merch for you lot, but not so I can make money out of it, so I can have that money go to charity, and I think that would, for me would sit far better in my mind uh, than the fact that when you buy a t-shirt, anything that's left over um, from producing that t-shirt will definitely go to a charity. So maybe I'll do, uh, I'll do one t-shirt that I design, and maybe Maybe I'll put it out there that, do you know what? I'll get you or your kids to design a t-shirt and we'll pick a winner. And, and that winner's t-shirt will be a charity t-shirt also. Whether it's you as an adult that designs that t-shirt or one of your children. And as long as it's themed around Buddy and his adventures, then I think that will be an amazing thing to do. Um, Ed, bless him, has announced that he's going to do another big charity ride next year. If you don't watch Ed, um, Ed, you definitely should. He's doing a world trip at the moment around the world on his Ashworth monkey, which uh, is probably the best monkey bike in the world, if I'm honest. Yeah, go and show him some support. He's obviously doing it in stages, as, 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 as of when he can raise the money and afford to do the stages, usually a few weeks apart. I think this is the, actually the longest. He's had like a month now. Well, he hasn't flown back out, but he goes out back out soon. Um, but you know, he's an amazing guy, and I think he's got an amazing channel. So definitely go and give uh, go and give Almeida a watch. He will make your day a better day, and that is for sure. So yeah, he's on about doing a big charity ride next year. Anybody's interested in that, I'll keep you posted on that one as well. As uh, I'm definitely myself, my wife, and the Budsy, we're definitely going to do it, every kid. We definitely doing it? I think so, don't you? I definitely think so. Even though he likes to wind the old helmet head up, he likes to lure them into the sports security. As if he loves him and then as soon as he gets close he tries to bite him. That's just the way it is. What I'm gonna say, it's the way of the Chihuahua. The way of the Chihuahua. They will take on the world because they've got hearts the size of a lion temperaments too sometimes but you know what I bloody love him I bloody love you so as ever thank you very much for joining us just a bit of a bimbo bit of a yab just didn't want to think that uh, just didn't want you thinking we'd forgot about you all it's just life has taken over at the moment but I will get some videos out there for you all because you know what you deserve them you really do so on that note Thank you very much. Big thank you for Buddy. Hey, Buddy. And uh, we'll catch you on the next one.
don't forget stay safe out there live your best life live your best life bubs live your best life